Yes, so obviously it's a fast moving environment. And I think Steve got it right when he mentioned the devil is going to be in the details. We know a few things, but we don't know everything. So the one thing that we know is that it's a very advanced model, but it's not as advanced as some of the American ones. So China has been very good at replicating, but not probably as good in terms of innovating or being a first mover. And the big question is in terms of cost. Is it really that cheap for DeepSeek, as I mentioned, $6 million to be able to build uh, that model to, to that level? This is something we're not quite sure yet. They're saying they're using older NVIDIA chips. There's a lot of questions, and I guess the question mark can also be made that the fact that the technical details were released on the 20th of January, which is also the day of the inauguration, I sometimes don't believe in coincidence, but maybe there's something there. So this is a question mark. The other question mark is in terms of how we spend or after our companies spend too much money in terms of large language models. There's always been a question mark as to whether large language model was going to be that big development, that big innovation in terms of artificial intelligence, uh, whether it was going to put us on a way to AGI, singularity, or super intelligence, whichever you want to call it. Those question marks have been raised now in terms of the money that's been spent. We've seen it with Stargate, we've seen it with Microsoft spending $80 billion this year. We're going to see it with Meta spending $65 billion again this year. Those, those company we really need to spend a lot of money to get that amount of quality in terms of models. They can't spend it. I think that's a question you one needs to ask. Those companies, the big the big seven, they're making an awful lot of money, so they can spend an amount of money, but it's still a lot of money for them to spend if somebody much cheaper can come in and uh, disrupt the market as DeepSeek seemingly is trying to do. Dexter, to me, we've had OpenAI and we've had Google DeepMind effectively telling us for the last number of months they're sitting on this incredible technology that other companies can't replicate unless they've got very deep pockets. But that does change the narrative now, doesn't it, around market leadership? Because we thought we might be looking at a board that had the market leaders for the next decade. That may not be the case if the moat is uh, more shallow than we expected, right? It's possible, but again, we need to see whether deep seek is really what it says it is in terms of, especially in terms of cost, because I think that's a big question mark for me. Is it really that cheap to be able to replicate that level of capabilities? And that's kind of the question I still have about the model. If it is indeed the case, yes, in terms of OpenAI, in terms of Google, in terms of Microsoft, in terms of also Meta, because Meta kind of put himself into being kind of the leader for open source AI, and we've seen deep seek doing something far cheaper. This is something that's, that could be uh, a very important development. But again, as I was saying earlier, China has been very good in terms of replicating and being almost to the top, but China, or at least for what we can see so far, they're not going above the curve, they're not leading. They're kind of replicating what the US companies are doing, but they're not going above what the US companies have currently been doing. Uh, if that does happen, if there's something like that happening, then that would be another game changer in my view.